Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. I'm Disturbing Puppet, so we are trying out the Demonic Incursion mode with the Necrons. We're doing pretty well so far. I believe we're on the last of the waves. Um, so we have some coming in, I think, from the north. Uh, it's been a couple days since I last recorded. We had a pretty big push here on the left that we managed to repel. I think some units get pretty wrecked, but yeah, I think they're coming from above now. I think that was it. There's only six units currently out there, but we'll have more keep spawning in, and they might come in um, from various different directions that I already had covered. We definitely want to pull these guys back, and a lot were actually coming up this way, so we had a decent number of units here as well. Let's shift a few things over and see what I can see. As far as reinforcements, we do have some coming in eventually, but not super quick. All right. First things first, I need to get some eyes on here. You guys are all really beat up over here on this end. We serve the trio. There is something here kind of blocking, so they might split up into two separate groups here, which I'm not a fan of. With authority. Okay, we'll go ahead and drop an overwatch. We will hold. That's kind of blocked. We'll shift just a few guys over here, we'll pull some stuff back. These were kind of reinforcements that we moved up, we'll get them back as quick as possible. We might even tell more those death marks over. Two Immortals left, and that's it, in this squad. We've taken quite a bit of damage overall, but I've only lost, I think, Overwatch. two units completely, I think. I could be wrong, it might be three. I'm a liar. I'm not sure exactly. We definitely lost a warrior unit, and then I think we lost... Did we lose a hex mark or did we lose some death marks that were kind of out of position when a new wave came in? They just got swamped. Something like that. All right, and we work quick. Let's head over here ASAP. We stay in the line. Try to get them to walk into some overwatches here if I can. Four is optimal. Yeah, we'll just stick with that. That's fine. Got some warriors here that are pretty banged up. Go over on the edge. A couple little guys left. I'm not sure if there's like a score at the end of this. Um, we did go into this with a thousand points less than um, what we could have started with. So it sort of wanted to go with like 3,000 points. So we came in with a 2,000 point force, and early on was totally fine. It's only been the last wave that actually was putting some decent pressure on me. You have targets. You're actually banged up. In progress. Keep you on the edge here. You're kind of... Yeah, you want to be pretty short range, but you're very good at killing None stuff. Pass unseen. Uh, we'll set you up. Position. So these guys aren't the super long range, they're the uh, exterminators. So range of five is optimal. Which is about here-ish. Yeah, this is totally blocking my line of sight there, which is unfortunate. There's one little warrior left here. I don't think there was anything over on this side coming in. I might actually send you guys over. Just to watch that direction, but I don't think anything was coming in here. Just out of an overabundance of caution, I will sort of keep an eye on that direction. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll shift the Lich Guard over as well. We move! I'll even have them head out a little further. Don't have a lot of great vision here. Who is next on the list? Could just come up and drop an overwatch from here that direction. Let's do that. Kind of watching that way. They're a little isolated though. Six is optimal. Which is about there. That's fine. Watching this area. And this tiny squad. Uh, I guess we can put you over here. They can still absorb some hits and shots and attacks, so 
It's not too bad. They can throw out a decent amount of firepower, too. Even my regular guys can do quite a bit of good damage to even armored targets. Let's get you two back. <laughs> Just kind of park here for the moment, kind of watch in this direction. I don't think anything's coming at us from there, but you never know. Uh, we'll head over here. Movement. Annihilation waits for them. Just sort of be prepared. I don't want to shift uh, too much. I do have a lot of death marks um, that are really good at taking out the cannons and some of the other nasty things that are out there. Uh, I don't think anything was down here. So we'll just pull back with these guys so we can kind of shift them a little easier. These are my long range hitters. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to wreck my line of sight from there. So let's just go here for now. That's about ideal for them. Artillery. Go wide at these guys a little bit. Probably nothing's going to make it to me, but we could have more stuff spawn in. Out to the left or something on me. Uh, the Plasmancer. Do we want to head back? Yeah, we'll head over here with this group for now. Kind of hide yeah, behind the pillar for a moment. Ruination follows. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stay there. I can drop an Overwatch, but it's kind of pointless. I'll do it just because I can. Let them come. Shift you guys over there, just to kind of have some stuff on this stairway. Okay, and the rest of this, um, we're going to keep on this lower part. We'll just kind of back everybody up a bit. Uh, I might leave the warriors there. Because a lot of stuff has come from this direction. I'm not sure if we're actually clear of that. Uh, let's get like a line of death marks maybe on the stairs or the top of the stairs. Yeah, we'll go top of the stairs. The height differences do kind of mess with your shot chances quite a bit, though. So especially once the enemies are, like, on the stairs, it seems like it really wrecks your ability to see much of anything. Tracking target. Guess we'll have you look that way. Watching this area. Same with you guys. I will pull the warriors back a bit. But we'll keep these two here, kind of watching that direction. For now, anyway. I've been able to keep making more units with my uh, lord, which has been nice. Speaking of that, where is my lord? What? I've actually got three command points. That's nice. We can call in a really good strike then. Uh, okay, where do we want to pull back to? I guess we will hang out maybe the bottom of the stairs. And a little forward with the snipers back there. I think that will do. My will be done. Got a few more banged up warrior units. Where do we want you? What do we have up front? Two warriors, three. The Lich Guard's almost dead there. Two hex marks destroyers here, that's quite good. So you go here. I'm overwatching just out of caution. It's pretty unlikely anything is gonna what is your show up and be a problem for me.
Yeah, it's we move. I can still heal the individual guy that's left. Because we're Necrons, we just heal every turn. But we can't get I dead guys back. Position. If they don't come back when they initially get taken out, that's it. So we'll put a couple hex marks here. So that's two hex marks. And then there's one here. So maybe I lost a hex mark. So I might have lost a hex mark, a warrior unit, and a death mark. Something like that. Just because I couldn't get away fast enough or something. Okay, and we've got a couple warriors we can kind of tank with up front. We'll park them in front of the hex marks. Okay, that just leaves the Overlord, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just wait and see what happens. More stuff's gonna come in. Okay, we've got stuff on the right, that's a bit of a problem. So we've got stuff from the top and the right, so hopefully that's it. And I can maybe shift the bottom guys over. At least some of them. It's the last wave, so I'm expecting we're going to get kind of inundated here with demons. I don't know if I'm going to finish this. It'll kind of depend on how long it takes. It is the last wave, but there's multiple steps and multiple waves of reinforcements in a wave. Down on the side there, mostly. Going for the hex mark. Cannon. My sniper is not so nice. Just wiped my squad, because there's two cannons, I think. But some of them came back. some of them. Cannons are a big problem, because they can wipe out infantry pretty effectively. Kind of splitting up in a way I don't like very much. Priority initially is going to be those cannons. We will meet them in combat. And after that, we'll see. They make it the spot. Okay, well, I did have that one squad get wrecked. Let me take a look. Okay, so a couple came back. Yeah, they just took two cannon blasts, and it's just it's too much for them to handle. All right. Uh, unfortunately, the cannons are not in great spots for me to hit. The sound of our guns will herald their death. If I want to hit him. He almost got killed too. Alright, that's pretty bad. We could... Move up. Hit those front guys a bit and then back off. I think that's what I'll do. Just go with the short range stuff. Does this... I want to make sure nothing gets rid of my movement. Don't think so. Firing solutions optimized. I don't have three targets, so maybe I'll just shoot twice normally. Let's wipe these guys. And do some damage. Death here. by my hands. Okay. 
Yeah, my movement's now gone. I had two points left. Sometimes I feel like I get the movement back, and other times I don't. Or it doesn't go away, but other times it does. Right. So we kind of need to kill you to make an advance. So how do we want to do that? We're actually a little closer to the Immortals. Shot chances are okay. Oh, they're both softened up. I've got both Praetorians here, and they're both kind of weak. But we can hit them and do some damage. Nice. Actually, pretty good hit. Get some momentum, hopefully, and can do some healing. That would be nice. Alright. I can jump forward with the other Praetorians. We can also head out and probably get a pretty good hit on you, or potentially even the guy in the back. That might be dangerous because I'm not sure how much is left up there. Um, take a shot. So do some damage. Artillery. This is ideal, but the height difference is going to mess with it a bit. It's 85, alright. It's like 85%. Okay, not quite half health. There's two of these things. shot chance here. Yeah, we'll take it. Blood from afar. One of them missed completely. I gotta keep an eye on the right here too as we advance. I don't think I can kill both cannons, but I can oh, kill one. Is Hoping there isn't a whole lot else out here on this side. Go for it. Oh, not enough for kill. Halfway there. Alright, back up. Judgment will be swift. So, I don't have a lot left to commit. I might send the Plasmancer right, because we do have um, that singularity that he could drop. Just take out the one cannon. Hopefully. Attack Vector True. Okay, that's one. There isn't a whole lot else here, but you guys aren't super tough either. I guess I'll come in. Make sense. I really wish I could hit that other cannon and destroy it. But not today. Heavy fire support! Okay, advance some guys up here. Ah, uh, oops. Not what I wanted. Misclicked there. Authority. Twitchy figures. Okay, over here. Next on the list. Can get a hit on the cannon. I don't think we can kill it. I'm gonna mark it. Mark set. Take the shot at they it. They will not escape. Death. Yeah, not a full squad, so it's not that much damage. And then we will head over on it. I might be able to get these guys in range of it as well. Yes. Just have this really weak warrior squad. I mean, I could throw them forward as a distraction. Oh, 
What's my shot chance here? 78, I'll take a spy. Blood from afar. Okay, actually did a pretty good amount of damage. Processing. I've got both guns here. The secondary on these guys. Mark around a little bit. And then we'll fire the main guns at the cannon. He's close. Not dead yet. Can I get you to get a shot? That's pretty far. Uh, there's too much crap in the way there. That's going to be an awful shot, probably. I'll just head up this way. I do have a shot. No, I don't. It's just highlighting it to mock me. Everyone's out of range. Or are they? We can fire the secondary here. I actually beat up the blood crushers pretty well. Alright, what else do we have? Just some basic warriors. Kind of leaving this left side totally unguarded, but what you gonna do? Got the Lich Guard, but nobody's in range, so I think we'll just kind of stay where I'm at. I could get in the way of the Warriors, but Warriors aren't that big a deal to keep alive. Alright, we know the stuff over here. Uh, let's take a little bit of a look. They may split up, some of them coming above, some below. Probably all of them are going to come in here, although they could split up. try to get a few things. We might shift the death marks over, like all of them, and maybe these warriors on the side. I don't know that I want to send everybody over. We can take out the guys up top. More reinforcements might come in from there, though. I don't have a lot that I can shift over to that right flank very quickly. Well, unfortunately, I can't kill that cannon. I don't think there's any way I can do it. I could try to move up with the Overlord and call in an airstrike, but I think we're going to need it over here, probably. So let's just see where we can get the death marks. Just to provide some cover on this right side, at least temporarily. So that's six... We'll stick to that, I guess. Stupid pillars kind of in the way, so we'll stay below it. You guys, however. We'll stay kind of on this side. That's six. What in this area? Tracking target. What else can we do? My boy. Can't summon any more guys yet. So let's have your guardians await. Yeah, we'll have you guys come back. The Lich Guard aren't really doing much good here, but I might use them as a sacrificial unit as things progress. Bring the Overlord up. 
hide behind the pillar. Try to summon some more units. Uh, you require my counsel. You over as well. So we could potentially call an airstrike, but we could also do this um, quantum orb too. If they push in and are really bunched up, I think that's the best way to go. You have targets. All right, you can take the front. And we'll go out a little further. I see all. here but we'll take it just to set up some more overwatches i don't think they're going to get like super close here but i might as well just set them up while we're you know, taking actions here okay this warrior squad go in there so we'll have some defenses set up but most of it's kind of the death marks up front which we'll want to definitely shift as soon as possible We can see much through here. We could try to set Overwatch that way. And I think we'll keep these three warriors down here for the moment. We'll head over this way. I can kind of easily shift them either direction. I don't think anything's going to come from the bottom, but I could be wrong. That's why I'm, I'm kind of being a little cautious about it. All right, that just leaves Lich Guard, Overlord, Lich Guard. Oh, I've got some warriors here I didn't do anything with. Is that it? Yes. Okay, well, I mean. It's possible if I want to sacrifice these guys. <laughs> and I don't mind necessarily, like, I think they're liable to die from something else anyway. If we can get the kill here, it's not likely, but it's possible. Alright, I think it lied to me about the chances there, but we just missed a bunch of shots. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, we do have stuff coming on that side. Great. In every direction. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. That's two bloodthirsters. Yeah, they're not really messing around with this last wave. He came all the way over here. Quantum shields active. Shopping away at me. Wonderful. Just what I didn't want. Taking hits. Activity detected out of range. Yeah, that's not great for me. Targets detected. We need to kind of wipe the guys up top and then turn to engage those left, or left forces with the units up top, probably. <laughs> Miss every shot here, really? Apparently so, alright. Didn't even kill my little warriors. Punch my tank in the face. It's not so nice. They cannot hide from 
They're not advancing very quickly over on that right side. Making it all the way? Hmm. Apparently so. Not much damage, though. Good. They cannot hide for long. They will be judged one way or another. Another target to seek. Stupid cannon. Somebody kill the cannon. They were weak. Yeah, wiped out those warriors that got trashed. If the oh, I got some reinforcements. Worthy, we will be there. They're not in a great spot. They're kind of behind the enemy. What did we even get? Oh, a bunch of Praetorians and Scarabs. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we could do something with that, but I don't think we can kill much. Um, if I can take out one Bloodthirster and these guys up top this turn, I'll be relatively happy. This cannon wanted to die, apparently. I don't know what it's doing. Blood from afar! Just easily wipe you out. I kind of look that way, but I really don't want to move much further that direction up there. Okay, if we're going to mop up these guys, how do we do it preserving the firepower? We serve the Triarch. And you guys can do it. What's your armor penetration? It's four. I've got options. Do you have options? We might be able to take them out with the Immortals. Firing on target. Okay, we took out the tougher one. I have to use somebody else to finish them off. Uh, I do have a warrior squad here. Death marks, we have better targets to go for. Maybe the warriors. Okay. Uh, I'll have to look at positioning and stuff here as well. Uh, this is a problem. So if I can kill the grinder and the bloodthirster, I'd be very happy. I don't know that I can kill both. Only really have a shot at the grinder. So let's do that. Okay, got a hundred. Hoping for at least a hundred damage there. Uh, the big the gun. Sound of our guns will herald their death. I would kind of like to hit the bloodthirster with. Setting position. I'm not sure if this is okay or not. 75. 75, by the way. Yeah, go for the closer bloodthirster. Alright, that was pretty weak. The bloodthirsters can suck up a lot of damage. Not even down to half. I think we have to send in the Praetorians on the grinder. <laughs> Not really what they're designed to do, but they do an okay job. Our duty is tireless. Might do, yeah, we do have better armor piercing if we close the gap, but I don't want him to hit me back. It's a little hard to tell which way he's facing. I think he's facing this way, so he would fight back from there. 
Yeah, just shoot. Okay, 200. Yeah, that's good. So I'm pretty sure I can kill him with the hex mark. In progress. One more shot Death like that. By my hands. Okay, good. Great, that did more damage. Wonderful. Okay, I will fall back a little bit here, which I may fall back as much as I can, because we're going to get pushed here, I think. I may want to call in an airstrike. They will all die. Uh, if I can hit both of the Bloodthirsters, that would be great. Anyway, first things first. Setting position. So we're going to try to light up the Bloodthirster. <laughs> Do I want to try to set up... Where's my Overlord? I could save the airstrike for that right side. I don't know from here if that'll be in range. An I'm going to try, though. March. See if I can hit both of them. So if we do that and we target you to start with. Yeah, I can hit both of them. It's 150 to 200 damage. Let's do it. Let's, I think it's only going to hit those two. Beautiful. I hit something in between. Okay, so that'll help. For sure. Can't spawn because that takes two actions, so I will just pull back here. At the moment. Uh, so we'll probably use the Plasmancer over there. So what do I have left? I've got the death works. Fortunately, only two of them, so they're not going to do that much damage. 90%. We still have these stupid blood crushers. All right, what can I do more damage? Fire. The Bloodthirster. <laughs> Missed a whole bunch of those shots. Annihilation barge. Yeah, I can't wait to your directive. Shooting at point blank range is pretty pointless. We do have the Tomb Blades. See if I can maybe kill the Bloodthirster with that. With them. Uh, what is that going to give me? 100 something, maybe, if we land all our shots. It's not a bad hit chance. It's because he's a big target. I'm gonna go ahead and use the nebuloscope, see if we can make that a little better. Seems like it's about the same. Alright, hit the Bloodthirster. Oh, he's 14 health away from death. Can I do 14 damage with somebody? Uh, I mean, we could send in a Lich Guard with an attack. That would do it. Go for it. Take him down. Kill him, he won't get a chance to retaliate. Okay, I didn't really want you to take his position. That's uh, kind of unfortunate. 
So you guys are probably kind of screwed. Okay, what I'll do, I think we'll have the Praetorians come in and try to hit these guys. So I can get in behind them and attack them. So I will do more with a close combat attack. So this is like 9 to 12 times 10. Uh, is that more actually? So that's 85 to 115. 90. Yeah, slightly higher max here, and we're guaranteed to hit, so let's smack him. Okay, we can't retaliate. I'm gonna have you turn this way. If I can kill these guys, we could free up the Annihilation Barge, but I don't think I can kill them. Hit him from here. Again, we'll go close combat. It's only 80% to hit them. Okay, I got one. Okay, they're broken, so I can actually just kind of freely get away from them. So that's what I will do. We'll back up. Zap them into oblivion, hopefully. Yep, excellent. Okay. Do we have movement left here? I'm just trying to get away if I can. Our judgment will be swift. We agree. Just pull all of you guys back. But we've got sort of some close combat-y type units up front. The scarabs are just expendable, so we could kind of do whatever we want to sort of harass something. Uh, what is this? I remember the mandibles. It's a melee. It's very weak. What do we want to go chew on? I wouldn't mind going for the bloodthirster, actually. Busy. I'm not sure where that's going to put us. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> it's kind of what they're here for, just as a distraction. I just did... I had extra points, so I decided oh, I'd spend yes. more. More blood for corn! Oh, it's your blood. Actually did some damage. I'm honestly surprised. Okay. Uh, so yeah, actually, we've got that mostly under control, primarily because we got those reinforcements let me finish off those guys. Uh, we do have a Bloodthirster left, but that's manageable. So I'm actually a bit more confident now after taking that action. Um, but we do want to start preparing for things attacking me on this side. So anybody with movement left, I'm actually going to start moving the other way. We are endless. Yeah. We did have to call in an airstrike, but we've got other options. Actually turned out okay for us. Um, who do we want to scout with over here? Probably nobody, really. Um, do have a very weak warrior squad here, but I think what I'm going to do, because I know there's enemies up there. Take a look and see if there's more. Could just drop an overwatch. I think that's what we'll do. It's not much of one. So with the death marks, I do want to keep back. We can advance with everybody else, though. Um, where do I want to put their line? We'll take this for now, I guess. stairs see how that goes uh, I do have a shot it's not great but I'll go ahead and take it 
We'll save the mark for a more important target. Efficient. Okay, let me get to there, so go ahead and go. Yeah, I can't see anything else. have a solid wall of snipers back here and then everybody else will try to shift in front. Uh, 60. Yeah. Four. Okay, two left and they're badly hurt. We can work with that. Uh, Lich Guard, I will put you... We move! Just to help protect the snipers a tiny bit. Uh, everyone else will form up. This gap could be bad. So we could put a couple hex marks. That's probably what I'm you going to do. Do kind of like this. Your optimal is only two. That's what I'm going to set it at. I see all. Try to get some other warriors out over this way. None will pass unseen. As far as the plasmids, let me wait and see. Can I get you guys? Not so far. Require my counsel. Full health, pretty much. Let me, for now, I'm going to come out here and we'll drop an overwatch out this way with the Plasmancer. Gives me some overwatch there. <laughs> Trying to form up a wall here. Nice big old firing line. <laughs> Nothing's coming from the south. Uh, no buffs came in down here, I don't think. But stuff could appear to the south. Okay. <laughs> move over as well. <laughs> I think I'll just have the other two here just fall back onto the stairs for now. Well, we can take the top. Let's go for the top of the stairs. And I'll have him watch this way, he'll watch south. Or not, we'll just run up there. Okay, that's everybody's action. So, I mean, we do have a nice sort of firing line now with the Hexmarks Destroyers up front. We've got a ton of snipers here, which might save my butt. Uh, on this side, we've also got the ability to do some good damage with the Plasmancer. Uh, we'll have to see how things go, but maybe you will survive. We did a lot more damage than I actually expected on this left flank, though, so I think we might be okay. We managed to save the Annihilation Barge that got wrecked. Uh, he can jump in and do, like, an area effect attack, though, so we'll see how hard the Bloodthirster wants to push me.
There might even be more reinforcements coming, I'm not sure, on the uh, demon side. I'm hoping not. No, he's just going to focus on the scarabs. Excellent. Blood, yes! More blood, fuck all! Like, one attack. Regular attack is probably all it's going to take. He's dropping their action points, which is kind of weird. Taking out, like, individual guys. Alright. Uh, at least this is hitting the Lich Guard, who can kind of take it. Gonna hit him back. No. Yeah, they're totally distracted by the Scarabs. Excellent! Charging way in from there. Okay. Walk into a lot of Overwatches there. Well, maybe not a lot. Some. Just the angle they're at. Not quite the right direction for some of these. Misses, excellent. Ah, uh, cannon. I need to do something about the cannon. Thankfully, it missed. Oh. Help them. We will meet them in combat if they make it this far. Probably take him out, if I can land a shot. I missed with everything. Great. I went for the Lich Guard, really. Hit him back! No. Our dog is on the roof. They just killed that lone guy, so that's another little weak unit down. Back, yeah, all right, excellent. I'll continue being a bit of a distraction. Okay, there's a buff there, too. My priority is still kill that bloodthirster on the left. We have some other things to do, but that's number one. All right, let's start off with the big guns. Biggest of my big guns, so we can't miss. Nice. Firing. Good start. He's already hurt from before, so that's really helpful. Um, so, snipers. Take a shot as well. Pathetic being. Actually, gonna cut it back up a bit. Okay. The sound of our guns will herald their death. Get you in a perfect angle on the bloodthirster, so we'll do that. Firing. 100%. <laughs> health left. Uh, I mean, we could just use the other heavy destroyers. That's probably the easiest, so we'll do that. This axe is still there. Okay, so coming up from the back... I think we're going to send you all that way, to the right, as well as you. 
Let's see if I can get a shot here. It's terrible, but I'll take it. Shooting around the corner of the stairs there, I think, is why. Okay, my immortals. Got a bit longer range. Yeah, just go for these guys. Not doing as much as I'd hoped. Progressing. But we still have the hex mark. Well, the hex mark's kind of slow. I don't know if we can get in good range. Yeah, that'll work. I'd even split fire between the two if I want to do that. Um. It's going to decrease my shots. I think one should do it here, so we'll just take a regular and a regular. Okay, we picked off a couple. We'll have other firepower we can direct that way. Uh, the guys in my face are probably the next priority on that side, but we'll worry about that later. So here, I've got a lot of Praetorians. Our duty is tireless. You can even jump if we want to do it. But I mean, that's already optimal range here, so yeah, we'll just see what we can do with these guys. Shooting through a unit, so my accuracy is not great. Our judgment will be swift. Excellent. And then we can kind of use the vehicles to push further after. We serve the trio. I could even get into their rear here, but I don't think I need to. Alright, we need an action to take this over. But we could send the Lich Guard in to do that. Because I don't really do much with them anyway for their actions. So, yeah, we'll grab whatever that is. Elusive target. Get a resupply. So elusive target, I think just increases our evasion. We'll have to take a look and see. Yeah, just increased evasion. Um, yeah, we'll just sort of tie these guys up, getting in their we way. Serve. So I'm just gonna block. Although that is gonna interfere with my shots. Um, if we move the vehicles up, which, I mean, is kind of the plan, of course. Our judgment will be swift. With authority, right. our duty is tireless. Waiting. Got both guns on the Annihilation Barge. Plotting movement. So the secondary wants to be at five, so this should be five. We can arc it around a bit, Fire. that way. Very good, very good. We'll take the other shot. Pick off some more. Annihilation barge awaiting your directive. Got both guns here as well. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and move on in and do that. Seventy-five either way. We'll hit the guys in the back. Let him arc around. See if we can lucky kill the front guys. Probably not. We did. Nice. One 
guy left. Can we pick him off? <laughs> yes. All right. Very, very good. My scarabs are still alive somehow, so uh, let's move them back. Or do I want to keep them out front for vision? They probably just get shot and killed, though. We'll hide them behind the rock temporarily, I guess. So we could have more reinforcements coming in. We still have you, so... We can pop up those doggos up top. Probably. Okay, almost. Seven health left. Now, there is a cannon back here somewhere we saw. Uh, there's only eight units left, which is pretty fantastic. We've got to deal with the Blood Crushers. But I think that's a job for the warriors, maybe, because they're not going to do much of anything else. We're at optimal range. There's just the height differences causing problems. So we'll just take a bunch of shots and see how we do. Enough of them just got to land that I can just finish these guys off. dead, the other one's hurt. Alright, there's that group. Alright, we've got stuff there. I think there was a cannon down here. Um, I think we'll send the hex marks in. You have targets. I see the favorable See if there's anything else we can spot as we move up. It's just you two, okay. So we could shoot both of them with the ability, but I think we're just going to hit with regular attacks, and I'm going to save my crit for bigger stuff, the bigger demons and that kind of stuff. Might move back since I've got the move. I see all. So let's go ahead. Yeah, let's wipe out the flesh hounds. Feels like a bit of a waste. Death by my hands. Well, we've got some really good anti infantry front line here. An anti little demon front line. Okay. We've got snipers as well. Of course. Let's go. Can't really do anything. These warriors. Let's try to take out the uh, doggos up top. Easy peasy. Got the whole line of snipers. Warriors, though, we will take some shots. Yeah, we'll back these guys up. So we'll stay here at the top of the stairs, I guess. It's not great shots, but it's okay. But we can follow up with a bunch of snipers. Uh, it'd be nice if I could see something further out, then I could more reliably go after it. But I can't see where the cannon is. Five left, and I can see two. So I think the other three are all on this side. But more might come in here. Uh, I'm hoping not, but probably. 
Did you guys all shoot? Yeah, you guys all shot. I will bring you up, though. to be able to see what I'm doing. So we'll try to get vision however I can. That's probably a bit too far forward. Okay. My empire I think we just move up and spawn a warrior unit. So that's what I'm going to do. The Overlord, anyway. Uh, I go inside. Awaken! The Age of Necrons is nigh! Guess it's at least face the right direction. Thanks. Okay. So we've got snipers, we've got Lich Guard I can't do much with, we've got the Plasmancer. The Plasmancer I could move up and be aggressive with, we could hit them a couple times. We'll make him a big target. But I don't know what else is out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push a little bit. A taste of my power! Probably just wipe these guys. Excellent. Yeah, I think so. Four left, and I see. Is it just one now? So three hidden somewhere. That sounds about right. Uh, there's at least one cannon, uh, one grinder, and then probably just something else, some random other thing. Okay, death marks. We will have to move if I want to take shots. Lich guard. I'm going to move out next to we move. the plasmancer. In case things go wrong, we you know have them for some kind of support. So snipers. Uh, all my targets are down here, so we're kind of out of position on that. <laughs> I'm going to move in to kind of make space for the snipers to shift down a little bit. Because I don't really want to go any farther forward than a, maybe about the top of these stairs. Is that out of range? Really? Hmm. Maybe we'll just overwatch then. I don't want to push them too far out. So that's about... Watching this area! Target. Who is next on the list? I could move in more. So the height's gonna really mess with me. So yeah, here it's, I think it's a bit more safe in the center. We'll head. Just a little bit over to kind of get better view over this way. Watching this area. Okay, that leaves the scarab swarm. Uh, not a big deal. That's it. Can't overwatch with them or anything, so that's fine. I'll just leave them out front. Curious if we'll get more, if they'll get more demonic uh, reinforcements here. If it's just wipe out these last few guys, we're golden. Shouldn't be a problem. I could potentially lose like some basic warrior units or something. <gasps> Going for my plasmancer, not so nice. Cannon. That's what's gonna kill me. Kill units, potentially, is the cannon. Slide 
down these riders a little bit. Yeah, this is probably it. All right, so the cannon is my number one priority, really. We kill the guys in the way, the snipers take out the cannon, then we can start working on the uh, other guy in the back. So, probably... Hexmark Destroyer time. Gives me some vision. Nice. Okay, I'm going to move down and we'll go after these demons here. Just looking at things I can get close to to hit. Because that's kind of what the Hexmarks Destroyers do. Light them up. Fantastic job. Okay, the other guy. I mean, I could push in on the uh, cannon, even. In progress. Probably would kill it. I've got vision on everything now. For just a minute. Alright, I'm going to go ahead, though. Uh, in this case, I am going to get the Fire gun chance. Solutions optimized. And we're just going to shoot the cannon. <laughs> Okay, 100 some odd health left. Should not be a rest. I'd like to keep this, all the snipers for the uh, soul grinder back there. But we do have another hex mark here. There's just nothing I really want to do. Rush out just to see if I spot anything. See if I can get some vision. All I have to do is really turn and we can see where he's at. We'll burn one. Yeah, there you are. None will pass unseen. Okay, so we can maybe get some shots from back there too. So to mop you guys up. <laughs> Just start with the warriors down here. Okay, and cycle kind of out of position. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the 8th wave, so this is probably it. You can't do this with unlimited waves, but I feel like you'd be playing it for like a month. Especially with Necrons, I think it would take forever. Although the waves could get really crazy after, like, this wave. Like, stuff coming at you from every direction, constantly. Already at optimal range here. So it could be, like, incredibly difficult to deal with very shortly after this. I think Necrons are the most suited for this because they can repair. There's a chance guys are going to come back after they get shot, all that kind of stuff. See if I can do some damage with regular warriors. Pretty close. Alright, we'll have to use somebody else. Uh, death marks. Got warriors right here. That's all we need. Just send them forward. Seventy-two, fifty-nine. Actually, is it gonna be better? At the cannon, you can take them out with the regular warriors. I think that'd be better. Seventy, yeah, do that. Blood from afar. Okay, then you can shoot at this. We actually, even our basic weapons have a decent chance of doing some damage. <laughs> Just the one guy left. blocked up here. Which guard? Go stand in front of him, just because. I mean, I could 
drop the quantum orb on him if I want to do something kind of mean. Um, I don't think we need it. And like I said, I think this is the last wave, but I not be, so I am going to hold off just in case. But I am going to chase this guy down and kill him. Okay, we've got immortals. Can we get a shot with the immortals? Maybe. No, nope, out of range. Overwatch. So you guys definitely aren't going to be able to either. I'm just kind of being thorough at this point. I probably don't need to be. Shot. That's probably too far, but I can take a look. Just barely in range. But actually, a pretty good shot. Not bad damage either. Alright, so let's start with the death marks. So, to get an ideal shot, I don't know if this is going to mess with my accuracy, but I can mark him. Five percent. Yeah, let's just mark. Continue that. Tracking target. Again, well, it's already hundred percent, so we don't need to mark. You're down. 100 some odd to go. Eighty five, we'll go ahead and mark. This should be a bit short of killing him. Six. See if my last death mark can finish him off. And we'll see if that's actually the end. Uh, 100%. Don't have to do anything, so this should be good. <laughs> hey! Yep, that was it. Victory. Alright. Survived eight waves. 132 demons killed. Demon killed score. Reinforcement points spent. Decreases, so you could actually get a higher score by not taking reinforcements. I wonder if it's going to affect. Oh yeah, so we did actually get a bonus because I only took in two thousand points, so we did get a little bit of a benefit. Um, I don't know if there's leaderboards for this. Interesting. Um, bonus pickups. So the pickups actually reduce your score too, huh? So overall score nineteen thousand nine hundred eighty-eight. I have no idea how that compares. Lists. You know, lost. Death mark. Is that it? <laughs> I guess the other warriors that I lost were summons, so they were summoned by the um, the overlord. So maybe it doesn't count them as like regular units, which is a little weird. Who had the most kills? I'm assuming it's hex mark. Yeah, fourteen for one of the hex marks. They're kind of spread out a little bit here. Three on that one. Eight on that one. Yeah, 14. Then actually, looks like nine. Yeah, not bad. Killed 24 flush hounds, 11 skull cannons, 14 blood crushers, 27 blood letters, 10 blood masters, six soul grinders, and four bloodthirsters. I feel like I killed more than four bloodthirsters. I feel like I killed at least six to eight bloodthirsters there. That feels off. Oh, I don't see any um, overall uh, like rankings and stuff. Just too bad. So bonus pickup penalty. Don't know. Yeah, I would like to see like what the average is um, for the victory and stuff.
um, what the scores and things are. Because I think we did pretty well taking in a smaller army. Um, I definitely feel like Necrons are the best choice for this. I don't know that it's a really like super compelling. Um, I think this would be much harder with the other two factions, either Marines or Tyranids, than Necrons. Because you don't have as much long-range stuff to go after the enemy long-range stuff with the cannons. Um, you don't have as much long-range firepower. I think, again, Tyranids are probably going to be your weakest, because you're going to have to run amok chasing down the enemy and fighting them close up, and they're going to hit you back, and Tyranids don't heal. I feel like Tyranids would have the toughest time at this. Um, I feel like the Tyranids are a little bit weak overall in this. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, mode. I don't know if I would spend a huge amount of time on it, but uh, it was decent. So yeah, this is going to be the end. I think if we proceed, that's going to be all. It's not going to show me anything overall. It's just going to take me back to the menu. It'd be really nice to see sort of the overall scores or daily scores or that kind of stuff on the Demonic Incursion mode. All right, that's going to do it for today. So this has been more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.